Yeah. So now I'm going to make a video here with a program error. I'm going to make a pro error in my program and see how what happens to the CPU. Basically, the CPU is going to stop. My program is going to stop executing. So let's see if we can make an error. There are several errors that we can make. This is a program that I'm just going to. Yeah, I can just put an error in somewhere here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have an output. I had static. So I'm going to make a static array. SI. It can be anything. Array. Just a tabulator. 0 to 1 of int. It doesn't have to be a major array here. Array. So what I'm just going to access member two of the array doesn't exist. S E I I'm going to probably to it might not compile. One. Hmm. Might not compile. So what we're going to do? I won't save it. Come and do a compile. Not to find array. Yeah, that's correct. That at least was an array. And let's say compile again. To compile. Ooh. Hmm, I've tooled it. So I'm just going to be a uh, TIIX. It's going to be an int. This is going to be an index. I can fool this one. TI IX. See how smart it is. Control S, Control B. Say it is pretty smart. Uh, so then we have a problem. Must not. Um, Can fool it. Zero. It is zero when I enter the program. Control S B. It is pretty. Um, it is pretty. Uh, let's see. This it's 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 nice because this is uh, this is a problem that you can have. But I think if we go to options here, settings, Uh, let's see, PLC programming, as a structure control language, check array limits, it doesn't do that. As defined in Pascal. So they have done something to uh, this one. So uh, then we can, uh, there's something we can do here uh, is, uh, uh, we, what we are going to do is we are not going to use the TI index. We are just going to use an SI. This integer and we can say it's legal. It was the index. I'm just going to get rid of this one. So I can fool it here. Let's see if I can fool it here.
equals one. Control S, Control B. Uh, and I have put it once when I download it. It, 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 it it's, that was okay. What do you have to download? No, I have I have a new instance data blocks. I'm just going to get a new message here now. It says, since I changed, I have to re-initialize this data block, uh, which means that the initial values are going to be uh, output to the online or, or be transferred to online data. But I can load it. Okay, so it should uh, be, so if I now, and I should have an update the post data block with some arrays and uh, the number array index number one should be one because that's what I wrote in the program. Uh, and let's see what, what happens now. So now I want to, in my program, what I had is, um, I don't need this one at all. Uh, so the index was one and I, I wrote one to it. So now I want to try to change this index to two. I can't do it here. I have to do it in instance data block. And let's say the index is two. Ooh. Nothing happened. I got a message here. Oh, yeah. The PLC simulator is powered on it's yellow it has stopped so this program error i try to access memory that doesn't exist the default is the cpu goes to stop mode you see online diagnostic status is general there's quite a bit module is okay my diagnostic buffer is system in the stop request changes Area length error in FB2. Yes. Hmm. Let's see, what does it say? Temporary uh, CPU, area length error FB2, affecting over one execution. Yeah, more detail, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is okay. So I have uh, an error, area length error in FB2. Let's see, it uh, doesn't want to, let's say, open an editor, uh, maybe, let's see, oh, nice, so I had a problem here, so my index is wrong, of course I did that online, in my data, data block, in my data block, well what I can do is that, yeah, start my CPU running, it's probably not going to run. It's going to go back to stopped. Because the error is still there. Or is it? It shouldn't be. Or maybe it's not. Because it's running. Let's look at my IDB again. Who? Uh, no, the IDB. My index is back to 1. Because what I didn't do is my function data block is uh, now in my function block. This one is not retained. That one is retained, but this one is not retained. So it, when I restart the CPU, it gets the value of default value back. So that was nice. But if I had a retain, if we keep the value, then we get an error when I restart it. But now. I'm fine, I didn't correct the error. I corrected the error just by restarting the CPU. So the thing here is in online and diagnostic, there are quite a bit more in here. So you can see the cycle time actual. How much memory have you used? We haven't used much, of course. The OPC UA, server, how it's performing, and so on. I don't, uh, I'm not using it. The sessions that it has, and so on, and interfaces. Here are when you go online, I can I can change the IP addresses I want to. I'm not going to. I might not be able to do that. 
at, as, at least not in in run i can set the time could use uh ntp service the cpu we didn't set that up so here is on one and then not the, but what i was after here is the diagnostic buffer so communication blah 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 no error it kept it but i restarted it so it's now it's okay so that was a quick video about uh, introducing an error. I got an error, went online with online diagnostic, uh, checked what the error, I could jump to where the error was. So I, I made an outside access to an array, but the compiler was pretty smart using constants and stuff like that to just say you're outside the array. Uh, so it's kind of nice. So there are built in some uh, security. What you can do too, is that you can have the CPU to supervise array access so you don't stop the CPU if you have an array access error. But then you have an error in your program and you can't live with that because there's an error in program. What your program is doing, nobody knows. So you have to check the limits of the errors. Uh, and that's what we did. So, but the video was also about an, a programming error. That was the video.